Hey everybody, Alan here. Okay, uh, we're going to be doing another uh, backup, and uh, this time it's going to be basically the same thing we did last time. Now, as a disclaimer, I just want to say that I do not work for Drive Image. I don't work for the people that uh, make the uh, software. I'm not getting paid or sponsored uh, to do it. I'm just um, sh uh, sharing with you with how I use it. That's, that's really all I'm doing here. Okay, so we're going to create a, a brand new image file, but first what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at our C drive. Okay, here's our local disk, which is <laughs> almost full. Here's the backup drive. This is what I'm concerned about. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, I'm looking for a folder called R drive image. It's right here. We're going to delete the old image file, which is only about, mm, it's only about five days old. That's fine. Let's go ahead and delete that. Get that out of there. It's too big to recycle. That's fine. Just go ahead and delete it anyway. Okay, there we go. All right, so we'll close this down. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, uh, I'm going to do this like eh, about once a week, every, actually every couple of days is what I want to do because what I'm going to be back, let me show you what I'm going to be backing up here. That's the Pinnacle Studio Master folder. This is, uh, I do a lot of video editing for my YouTube channel. This is where all my work is and, uh, I don't feel like losing what I've already done over the past four or five days, so we're just going to go ahead and back this up, close this out. Okay, let's get right to it. What we're going to do is we are going to use the create image from files right here. Okay, the one that we want is C drive. don't want is I don't want the whole <laughs> C drive. <clears throat> what I'm going to back up is where it says Pinnacle Studio All right here. That's the only one I need to back up. Now it's uh, uh, it's reporting that this folder is 58.2 gigabytes. Now the last time I did this it took actual time. It took like seven minutes. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and start it and just and just leave this uh leave this on and we'll see we'll see how it does okay so i got that selected select files for new image that's fine we're going to click on next where are we going to put it we're going to put it on the e drive we're going to put it in the r drive image folder on the e drive which is my backup folder leave the default name for right now go next create the image file from uh, can you set that there estimated total duration is 38 minutes I guarantee you it's not going to take no 38 minutes it's going to take at least seven or eight minutes so I'm going to leave let this record while we're doing it Let's go ahead and start and see what happens. Okay, here we go, it's starting. Like I said, last time I did this, it took like seven or eight minutes. So let's just go ahead and see how long it takes. It shouldn't take that long because it's not a, the folder itself is, uh, it's under 60 gigabytes. So it's compared to today's SSDs, <laughs> that's not very much. Okay, while that's working, let me just talk a little bit about our drive. 
I think this is a uh, this is the website for our drive uh, driveimage.com uh, this is real I think it's a really great program uh, it, they give you a 30-day free trial uh, to download and to use full functionality they don't cut anything out if you decide to buy it after that 30 days you're looking at about 45 bucks that's not bad that's not bad at all so that's pretty good but here here's something that I stress and it's something that you may or may not have thought about but I sure have is that it's gonna take about roughly let's say I don't know 10 or 11 minutes whatever to do this well that folder that I just showed you that that pinnacle uh, uh, folder that master folder uh, that's a compilation folder that that's taken about uh, roughly <clears throat> that's roughly at least it may not look like much it's roughly about three months worth of work so by doing this this is like extra insurance and the thing to think about is that this is only going to take about 10 minutes to do this so what's 10 minutes compared to having to go back, start all over again, and taking another three or four months to get back up to where I was. You think about that. Would you rather spend 10 minutes doing this, or would you rather spend three or four months recompiling everything that's lost and no way to get it back? Because uh, I think that's... Uh, I think that's pretty good insurance to have, <laughs> especially, I mean, $45. I don't think $45 is gonna, really going to break anybody. Uh, the only thing that the software does not do, at least I don't think it does, it doesn't do what we call incremental backups. In other words, it doesn't monitor what you change as far as your folders and files, and it, and it doesn't update the image file. So when you create an image file or whatever it is that you're backing up, that's it. That's 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 locked in. That's not going to change. So, <clears throat> but I mean, that's no big deal because, like I said, you can do this. You want to do this every day. You can do this every day. I'm starting to think about doing it every two or three days, just so I don't lose what I got. And I do a lot of work in video editing, uh, as far as you know, I'm trying to get my YouTube channel up. Um, plus, if you get locked out of Windows, if, if the C drive fails, and if you're lucky enough to have a full image uh, of your C drive on your backup drive, then you can restore your C drive. Um, last time I uh, backed up my complete C drive, hard drive, took two and a half hours. So, but right now I can't do that until I upgrade my um, until I upgrade my backup drive right here. But that's only a 500 gigabyte drive. So the best I can do is just do this, just just back up what I uh, what I've been working on. So I mean, setting Windows backups no big deal. But it's all the all the extra work that's involved in uh, getting it back up and running the way you want it. So, and if you look here, it's uh, <laughs> pretty complex. I got a lot of icons. I got a lot of shortcuts up here. I got a lot of programs installed in here. I got a lot of stuff. And if I completely lose that, I am sunk. I have to go back and start all over again. I don't want to do that. So yeah, this is this is definitely worth it. I think so anyway. Okay, we're almost at 50 percent. Five minutes left. That's about right. This might take a, a hair longer because I've been 
uh, putting extra folders in, extra files, adding files, taking files out, putting files in, renaming files, and blah 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 and all that. So, like I said, 10 or 10 or 12 minutes isn't anything compared to three or four months having to compile all that again. I just don't feel like that. And like I said earlier, the best part of this is that you can create uh, a startup disk that will start this program up outside of Windows. You can use a USB flash drive if you want, or you can use a, a DVD drive or whatever that you have for uh, like removable media. Where a flash drive would probably be your best bet. And I got one here somewhere. <laughs> so before this is done, my recommendation would be to uh, get a backup drive, at least in the one terabyte range. And one terabyte range uh, drive right now, I think off of Amazon, uh, running around 60 or 70 dollars, something like that. And that's for a one terabyte. Two terabytes run a little bit more than that. I think 150 to 160. But if I can afford a two terabyte drive, I'm going to go with that. Because I'd much rather have the backup drive have more capacity than actually the primary drive itself over here. Because image files can get really big. And like I said, you don't have to worry about really running out of space on the backup drive if you have a one terabyte drive because you can always update that that uh, the uh, complete uh, C drive, image drive, uh, once a week if you want. Okay, looking at 72%. Three minutes. You figure this is a 58.2 gigabyte file holder. So now something happened tomorrow, and I lost my uh, C drive. The worst that would could happen is that I'd have to reinstall Windows and all those programs. But I wouldn't lose what I've already done <coughs> in my Pinnacle Studio folder. That work could be preserved. And when you go to restore something from this program, it will put it exactly where it took it from. And when you're doing this, it doesn't move your files around, it doesn't move your folders around, it doesn't alter anything leave source files right where they are and then once you got the image file created you can you can rename it you can move it around you can put it wherever you want if you want to put it on another backup drive or flash or flash drive or flash media whatever you can do that <clears throat> because the program really do doesn't care when it goes to restore an image file wherever it is that you have it stored it looks for an image file. That's what it looks for. And I just tend to leave it where it is. I don't, I don't have to. Well, I'm hoping maybe next week sometime I can upgrade my backup drive to a one terabyte. If not a two terabyte drive. One terabyte would work for So anyway, uh, you know, check it out. And, uh, if you haven't used it before, I think you'll like it. And I'm not going to suggest anything to anybody that I haven't used, believe me. <laughs> and I'm picky, I'm real picky about my, what I use as far as uh, programs like this. Okay, when this is done, it'll tell you exactly how long it took to do it.
So you figure if you're doing a complete image on your C drive with everything, that's going to take you probably take well take me at least for right now for what I have on there. It's going to take two and a half to three hours to do that. Best time to do that would probably be when I get ready to go to bed. Okay, image created successfully. Okay, that's fine. Click on OK. The time it took to create it was 11 minutes and 16 seconds. Well, that's great. That's better than having to use, uh, you know, take three or four months to recompile all that. Gee whiz. Okay. Uh, go back to main menu. And there it is. And the uh, ones that I use that I'll be using the most uh, since I use this program is the create image, the restore image, the copy the disk. Copy the disk is if you're upgrading your uh, your drive, your SSD to a larger drive. That's what that is. Create startup disk. Check the image integrity of the uh, image file that you just created or in whatever image files you have on there. And then of course this is the one I just used. This is the this is the one for using the uh, complete C drive, restore image, to restore whatever image you need to restore. Copy, create, check out. These over here I, I really don't mess with too much. Partition manager, I really don't need to mess with that. Create OEM. Uh, you can do that if you want to, I don't. So the ones that I mess with the most is one, two, three, four, five, six out of these. So. Okay, let's uh, close this down for a minute. Take another look at your website. Okay, let's go back to backup drive E. Let's make sure that's on there. Let's open this up. Go up to our drive image. There it is. There's the image file I just created. file is all this right here so like I said think about it 12 minutes versus <laughs> three or four months to recompiling all that she was Wow, I would lose a lot of work, I really would. I mean, that would just be a complete disaster. And no, I don't want to store any of this in the cloud because if I did, for one, it's slow. I'm sure the cloud's got a lot of advantages, but what if you lose access to the cloud and you can't get in there? You're SOL. So, take a look at it and uh, see what you think. And, uh, uh, give me some feedback if you want to, comments, uh, whatever, subscribe to my channel. My channel's got a little bit of everything on it now, not just uh, not just for gaming, but for uh, stuff like this. And uh, it's got some, I think, some Pinnacle Studio videos on there for video editing. So, okay, well, thanks for taking the time to uh, watch this, and uh, I hope it will maybe help you out so that you don't uh, crash your uh, crash your C drive or whatever files you have that need to be backed up you can protect them so that's what I do because I know sooner or later it's going to happen and they believe me it will I've been doing this long enough to know that okay well you have a good day and uh, or a good night and uh, when I do this again I'm going to make another video <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one. Bye-bye.